Hello, my dear students. Uh, glad to meet you again uh, after uh, several times. Uh, as you know, my name is Kamala Badalova. I am assistant professor of general toxicological chemistry department. My lecture related uh, to the for the students of the pharmacy faculty of first course and subject in organic chemistry. But topic will be six, seven, eight elements: halogens, halogens. What is halogens? Uh, usually, mm, in mod uh, we have modern particle table. In modern particle table, six A subgroup elements. They are group number sixteen. Okay. What is halogen? Any element in group sixteen. Non-metal. Oxygen, sulfur, sel selenium, metalloid, tellurium, uh, tellurium, or radioactive metal, polonium, has multiple allotropes. Oxygen is oxygen uh, O2 and O3. O3 is azone. Sulfur has many allotropes, most often S8. Selenium can be selenium 8 or polymeric. Most form compounds with strong unbiased order forms one monatomic anion minus two polonium two plus and polonium four plus also exist has six valence electrons valence electron configuration and s2 mp4 and a large negative enthalpy my dear students, uh, as you know, the elements of A subgroup, they have uh, the same number of the electrons in the last level as the number of their group. But for example, our elements, they are elements of 6A subgroup because they have same number of the electrons in the last level, two electrons in S orbital and four electrons in P orbital. And in this table, uh, you can see the physical properties of these elements melting point, boiling point, state. Uh, what is state? State, state, this is uh, their aggregation state. For oxygen, oxygen is gas. At another element, they are solid. This at 20 degrees of Celsius. And density at the 20 degrees Celsius, you can see from this table. The first two members of this group, uh, oxygen and sulfur, are essential for life. They were member of the group tellurium and polonium are both metalloids. Oxygen. Oxygen is the most abundant element on Earth. 49.0% of the life of the mass. Oxygen exists in its native form, air, and is part of water, rocks, and living organisms. Is the uh, atmosphere the oxygen content is 23.13 percent of the mass? About allotropy modification, uh, as you remember, uh, during uh, past lectures, I explained to you about the allotropy modification during the lecture related phosphorus. Now we'll speak about the allotropy modification of the oxygen. Oxygen has two allotropy modification, oxygen O2 and ozone molecule O3. Oxygen molecule, odorless gas, slightly heavier than air, slightly soluble in water. Ozone molecule, gas with a pungent smell of freshness heavier than air. It is soluble in water better than oxygen. Ozone. 
light blue gas, explosive and the toxic. In the liquid state, dark blue in the solid dark purple. You can see the preparation of the uh, ozone by the electric discharge. Uh, you can see O2 will get to the O3. And also, as you see, this reaction is reversible reaction. From O3, we can get to O2. Ozone, uh, we told that ozone, a less common form of oxygen, is formed in the upper atmosphere through the action of electricity discharge, uh, electricity during thunder storms. The presence of ozone is important because it shields living organisms from some harmful radiation from the sun. Now we will uh, speak about the preparation of oxygen. Oxygen we can prepare from the decomposition reactions of some salts. For example, first reaction is decomposition of potassium permanganate. Then the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Again, decomposition of our compounds of some compounds we can prepare uh, oxygen and other elements respectively chemical properties of oxygen doesn't interact uh, it uh, doesn't interact with halogens noble gases gold and platinum metals Oxygen actively interacts with alkali metals, even without heating. Metals of medium and low activity react with oxygen when heated. The interaction of metals and non-metals with oxygen often produces a large amount of heat and even ignition. The interaction of oxygen with nitrogen occurs only when heated above 2000 degrees or during electric discharge. You can see the reaction of the uh, oxygen with nitrogen. Oxygen rather actively interacts not only with simple but also with complex substances like methane and nitrogen monoxide. Hydrogen peroxide. Uh, you know that oxygen uh, can uh, prepare some it is uh, compounds. For example, water, hydrogen peroxide. And hydrogen peroxide, as a pharmacy students, you must know that hydrogen peroxide is antiseptic compound. Hydrogen peroxide molecule is polar and dimagnetic. It is a colorless, viscous liquid, light blue in thick layer. And in this structure, you can see some parameters of the structure of hydrogen peroxide. This is picture from the hydrogen peroxide. You can see uh, in the down uh, uh, picture we have the antiseptic solution of the hydrogen peroxide, which we can use. It is three percentage solution. We told that uh, in dilute solutions, hydrogen peroxide is unstable and spontaneously this proportionate to water and oxygen. It can decompose to water and oxygen. And before during the preparation of the oxygen, we showed this reaction. Uh, so we live uh, now uh, in not in good uh, period uh, for health, uh, for health. 
because uh, I thought uh, during uh, first uh, time I told you that hydrogen peroxide we can use as uh, antiseptic uh, compound and cleaner disinfectant and um, every time we can use uh, this is for our home for our skin and other so for uh, this is second element uh, of the group. So for is a chemical element of third small period. The group 6A subgroup. Atomic number 16. Nucleus charge plus 16. Atomic mass 32.066. Oxidation degree. About oxidation degrees of the sulfur, uh, sulfur has uh, several oxidation degrees. Plus 6, plus 4, 0, minus 1, and minus 2. And in another side, you can see the compounds which has respectively oxidation degrees. About the minerals, which minerals has sulfur? Sulfids, uh, sulfid minerals contain sulfur and a metal. Pyrite, uh, you know that pyrite, this is iron sulfid. It is used in sulfuric acid, explosives, fertilizers, and insecticides. Galena, what is galena? This is uh, lead sulfid. It is used in outer batteries, solders, ammunition, and paint. Sulfid minerals, another sulfid minerals, are copperite, swalerite, molybdenite, bornite, arsenopyrite, and stepnite. And about galena and pyrite, we told in last slide. About sulfates, uh, which sulfates of the sulfur uh, as mineral we know. Examples gypsum, barite, and celestite. Physical properties, which physical properties has a uh, sulfur? It is solid, has a low color not soluble in water, not wetted by water, soluble in organic solvents. Sulfur has more than one allotrope. Two allotropes of solid sulfur have eight-membered rigs, but different crystal forms, monoclinic and rhombic. If liquid sulfur is cooled quickly, it solidifies as chains of sulfur atoms called plastic sulfur. And uh, there you can see the pictures from the monoclinic, rhombic and plastic sulfurs. In nature, sulfur is found both in the form of native sulfur and in composition of minerals and rock such as sulfates and sulfates. Simple rhombic sulfur consists of cyclic S8 molecules. The crystals of rhombic sulfur are octetra <coughs> with card angles. Rhombic sulfur has a lemon yellow color. The melting point is 128 degree plastic sulfur uh, this is a picture of the plastic sulfur has brown this uh, brown rubbery substance about the preparation how we can uh, prepare sulfur rock smelting this industry method without air access from period we can prepare sulfur but in laboratory you know that uh, we have uh, two ways of preparation of 
uh, elements or the inorganic compound, uh, any or inorganic compound in industry and in laboratory. In laboratory, incomplete oxidation of hydrogen sulfate with lack of oxygen. And you can see the reactions sulfate, hydrogen sulfate uh, with oxygen and hydrogen sulfate with the sulfurous acid. By these reactions, we can prepare sulfur and also water molecules. About chemical properties of sulfur interacts with many metals except gold and platinum. Magnesium with sulfur will react to, um, and we can prepare magnesium sulfate and aluminium we can uh, by a reaction of aluminium with sulfur we can prepare aluminium sulfate. It interacts with all alkali, alkaline earth metals as well as copper, mercury and silver in ordinary conditions. Copper with sulfur and mercury with sulfur. Sulfur reacts with other metals when heated, for example, with zinc. Sulfur exhibits uh, oxidizing properties upon interaction with some non-metals, with hydrogen, of, uh, for example, with no hydrogen. Of non-metals, only nitrogen, iodine, and noble gases don't react with sulfur when interacting with oxygen sulfur exhibits reducing properties. The reaction with acids. Here you can see uh, the reaction of sulfur with concentrated acid, with concentrated nitric acid. The reaction with alkali, uh, with uh, potassium oxide, we can prepare potassium sulfate potassium sulfate and the molecule of the water. Sulfur in human organism. Sulfur is a part of proteins here. Sulfur is a component of active uh, substance, vitamins and hormones. With a lack of sulfur in the body, regulatory and brittle bones hair loss and observed. Where we can use sulfur and for which? About the application of the sulfur, vulcanization of black rubber, fungicide, black gum powder. Most sulfur is however used in the production of sulfuric acid. The most important of sulfuric acid many uses in the manufacture of phosphoric acid to make phosphates for fertilizers. And here we can see the pictures where we can apply sulfur. But why sulfur is important? Why? Uh, here now I will uh, speak about the important part of the sulfur. This essential element prepared in relatively high concentrations. Essential component of three amino acids, histine, histine and methionine. Disulfate bonds give structure to many proteins, source of metabolic energy for many bacteria. Positive and negative environmental impacts, macronutrient acetamine drainage acidic deposition and uh, about you know that sulfur has uh, inorganic compounds first one hydrogen sulfate h2s and in picture you can see the parameters of the angle for example angle uh, between uh, sulfur and hydrogen, so uh, 92.1, and the distance uh, between sulfur and hydrogen bond 
133.6. Odorless, colorless gas, poisonous, soluble in water, weak acid, diabetic, dissociates in two steps. About the preparation, how we can prepare hydrogen sulfate by reaction of hydrogen and sulfur. Display by displacement of hydrogen sulfate from the sulfate by strong acids. About the chemical properties, it can uh, react only as reducing agent. And uh, following, we have a lot of reactions with oxygen, lack oxygen, excess oxygen. Uh, if uh, hydrogen sulfate will react with uh, lack of ox oxygen, we can prepare sulfur and the water. But with excess of the oxygen, uh, we can prepare sulfur dioxide and the water. With calcium, with uh, calcium oxide as metal uh, oxide, with sodium hydroxide, with ferrum chloride, ferrum 3 chloride, and bromine. Guatitive reaction to hydrogen sulfate is the reaction of the hydrogen sulfate with lead nitrate. Uh, during this reaction we can prepare uh, sediment of black color lead sulfate and of course nitric acid. Uh, we told about uh, this uh, pungent, it has a uh, pungent colorless gas, poisons, heavier than air, and soluble in water. But sulfur dioxide, sulfur dioxide is a chemical compound with the formal SO2. It is toxic gas with a pungent colorless irritating smell that is released by volcanoes and in various industrial process. Since coal and petroleum often contain sulfur compounds, their combustion generates sulfur dioxide unless the sulfur compounds are removed before burning the fuel. It is used to preserve foods. It is one of a group of Sulfating agents used in wine on many dried fruits and in numerous other foods. Sulfur dioxide is formed when sulfur containing fuels such as coal and oil are burned. About the preparation, how we can prepare sulfur dioxide in industry, sulfate filling from the period uh, by reaction of the period with oxygen we can prepare iron 3 oxide and SO2 sulfur dioxide in laboratory combustion of sulfur the effect of acids on sulfate salts for example sodium sulfate with hydrogen chloride we can prepare sodium chloride sodium uh, sulfur dioxide and water. In the oxidation of heavy metals of concentrated sulfuric acid, we can prepare cuprum sulfate, copper sulfate, sulfur dioxide and the molecule of water. The primary uh, source of sulfur dioxide emissions are power plants, refiners and copper smelting festivals. However, man-made emissions of sulfur dioxide have been the cause of some of the worst air pollution episodes in the last century. Sulfur dioxide is one of six major air pollutants in the United States of America. 
is the atmosphere sulfur dioxide that can form dangerous sulfates which can be breathed deep into the lungs and sulfuric acid the major acidic component of acid rain that can harm fish damage forests and plants and road buildings about the chemical properties sodium about the chemical properties we can uh, say that sodium hydroxide can uh, react with uh, sulfur dioxide then sulfur di uh, dioxide can react with the molecule of the water by the preparation uh, with the preparation of sulfurous acid as you know uh, sulfur dioxide we can use as a reducing agent and oxidizing agent in the reactions sulfur dioxide with water as reducing agent we can prepare sulfur trioxide with bromine and the water by heated uh, we can prepare sulfuric acid and hydrogen bromide as oxidizing agent it can react with carbon and hydrogen sulfate sulfuric anhydride sulfuric and this is uh, the formula of sulfuric anhydride SO3 colorless liquid at a temperature less than 17 white crystalline mass hydroscopic about the preparation in industry sulfuric uh, dioxide will react with the oxygen uh, but by uh, heated we can prepare sulfur sulfuric anhydride so3 in laboratory by decomposition reaction of iron sulfate iron 3 sulfate we can prepare so3 and iron 3 oxide about the chemical properties the famous uh, chemical properties of the uh, sulfuric anhydride the reaction with water with the preparation of sulfuric, sulfuric acid about the physical properties of the uh, sulfuric acid you know that sulfuric acid uh, this is a mineral acid and strong acid and usually in chemistry uh, some uh, chemists uh, can name uh, sulfuric acid as kings or king of acids it is colorless oily heavy metal liquid odorless non-volatile it has a strong water absorption property it is well soluble in water but when we uh, work uh, with sulfuric acid we must save the acid is poured into the water carefully in a thin stream but not add to the acid to the acid the water of course because this is so dangerous chemical properties you know that uh, sulfuric acid can be diluted and concentrated chemical properties of the diluted uh, acid interaction with uh, metals it can interact with metals uh, standing up uh, hydrogen in electric metal voltage range uh, for example zinc can react with uh, diluted uh, sulfuric acid but copper copper can't why because copper standing after this is metal after hydrogen in electric uh, metal voltage range 
chemical properties of the diluted we will uh, continue the chemical properties of diluted sulfuric acid interaction with basic and amphoteric oxide you know that uh, copper oxide this is a uh, basic oxide interaction with the basis alkali uh, sulfuric acid uh, will react with uh, sodium hydroxide with the preparation of sodium sulfate and water and insoluble bases uh, like copper 2 hydroxide we can prepare copper sulfate and the molecule of water two molecules of water interactions with salts this is quite the reaction getting of white sediment like for example barium uh, chloride will react with the uh, sulfuric acid and we can prepare sediment white sediment barium sulfate and about the chemical properties of concentrated sulfuric acid concentrated sulfuric acid strong oxidizing agent due to to the oxidation degree of sulfur plus six and with metals how it will react with metals with active metals with middle active metals and with the iron and aluminium with active metals it will uh, but it depends on the concentration of the uh, sulfuric acid we can prepare hydrogen sulfate, sulfur and sulfur dioxide with middle active metals sulfur dioxide but it can preservate the metals which metals like ferrum, iron and aluminium for example copper uh, down we have uh, the reaction of the copper with sulfuric acid concentrated sulfuric acid where we can prepare copper sulfate sulfur dioxide and the water at this uh, first process this is oxidation process i think that from uh, first semester from the general chemistry you remember what is oxidation process what is reduction process but uh, also we have some salts of the sulfuric acid like glauber salt, gypsum, this is calcium sulfate, barium sulfate, barium SO4 and the copper sulfate which we can find in nature. And uh, about the oxygen family, uh, it is most important to use uh, about the selenium. Uh, where selenium we can use uh, as a slight sensitive component in photocopy meshes. Traces of selenium are also necessary for good health. Now we will go to the halogens. Uh, halogens, uh, they are elements of 7A subgroup. Group 17 of the 7A subgroup elements, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and astat. Electron configurations NS2 mp5 in this uh, elemental state all halogens atoms combine to form diatomic molecules like fluorine 2 iodine 2 chlorine 2 bromine 2 with the exception of fluorine the halogens can also lose valence electrons and the oxidation states can range from minus 1 to plus 7 and all the elements uh, of uh, this group are non-metals except of astatine, which is a radioactive metalloid. These elements are called, as, as I told before, halogens, 
which means salt former. All of the halogens uh, form salts with sodium and with the other alkali metals. Appearance uh, fluorine. Fluorine has a pale yellow color, but it is vapor yellow color. Chlorine, pale green color, but it is vapor green color. Bromine, orange brown, but vapor has orange color. Iodine, gray black crystals, but vapor has purple color. You know that uh, iodine, uh, iodine related to the uh, compounds where which we can use as antiseptic in medicine and in pharmacy, of course. Physical properties about the physical properties, uh, but in this uh, slide you can see some error. But what happens the physical properties as you uh, down as you go down in this group? Of course, melting points increase, boiling point increase, all more soluble in organic solvents than water. Decreasing reactivity, this is due to it getting less easy for the atoms to form negative ions by gaining electrons. Make sure you can uh, explain this uh, trend in terms uh, of atomic size, shielding and the nuclear attraction. About displacement reactions, uh, what is displacement reactions? Uh, for example, chlorine with potassium bromide, bromine with potassium chloride, and which reaction will go to end? Now we will see these reactions. For example, how we can write displacement reaction? Let we will write uh, the ionic equation for the displacement reaction. For example, bromine and iodine ion. For example, it will be uh, sodium iodide, potassium iodide. We can prepare bromine iodide and the iodine. Why? Uh, because uh, why we can uh, uh, write, uh, why we can write this reaction? Because bromine is strong element than iodine. And chlorine can oxidize both bromide and iodine ions, of course. And however, Bromine can only oxidize iodide ions, but bromine can't oxidize chlorine ions. Why? Because bromine is a weak uh, element, but chlorine uh, is strong element. It is uh, so active than the bromine. And so uh, chlorine is a stronger oxidizing agent than the bromine. About the oxidizing ability, uh, oxidizing ability uh, of the halogens uh, in this uh, row, uh, decreasing oxidizing ability, decreasing reactivity. Decreasing, uh, but about the reducing ability of the halides, what is halide? For example, halide uh, this is sodium chloride. This is halide. Increasing, reducing ability. The halogens. Uh, some about some reactions. For example, halogen can react with metal. Halogen uh, can react with non-metals. Uh, interaction of halogen uh, with metal will give us ionic salt but the interaction of halogen with non-metals will give us covalent molecule uh, during first uh, semester we uh, 
we spoke about uh, these points uh, what is ionic bond what is covalent bond i hope you remember about these bonds about the compounds of the halogens uh, hydrogen halides reactivity with hydrogen the bond strength of these molecules decreases down the group hydrogen fluoride hydrogen chloride hydrogen bromide hydrogen iodide Acidic strength uh, increases down in the group. Hydrogen fluoride, hydrogen chloride, hydrogen bromide, and hydrogen iodide. Uh, it means that uh, so strange, uh, so strong acid in this uh, group. This is hydrogen iodide. About stability, stability uh, decreases down the group. Uh, it means that hydrogen iodide is not stable. This is because uh, of uh, decrease in bond dissociation enthalpy. Boiling point. Boiling point increase down the group except hydrogen fluorine. Hydrogen fluorine has strong intermolecular hydrogen bonding. As the size uh, increases, uh, van der Waals forces increases, and hence boiling point increases. Reactivity uh, with metals halogen react with metals to form halides. Any character, of course, decreases down the group. Halides in high oxidation state will be more covalent than the one in the low oxidation. About oxy acid, what is oxy acid in this uh, case? Oxy acid is a compound, the acids uh, which contain oxygen. Fluorine forms only one oxy acid, hydrogen or fluorine. Fluoric one acid, or the name of the acid, hypofluorous uh, acid. Do to high electronegativity. Acid strange uh, in this room hippo edos or the uh, medic one acid is not so uh, strong acid. This is because fluorine is most electronegative element. Acid strange uh, in this row, it means that uh, hypochlorous acid is not so uh, strange acid, but chloric uh, acid is so strong acid. Reason uh, because uh, we can decompose uh, this reaction, uh, this compound, to hydrogen ion and CLO4 minus ion. Uh, the acid strength uh, and the oxidizing ability of the halogen oxo acid increase with the oxidation number of the halogens, but they are most stable. About hippolose acid. Hippolose acid has uh, this formal H what is X? X uh, is some uh, halogen, uh, not plus one uh, oxidation number, are prepared by direct reaction of the halogen with the water. Hypohalide ions are formed when the halogen is added to the aqueous solution of a base. Calcium hypochlorite is used to chlorinate swimming pools. Because when placed in the pool, it forms calcium ions, calcium 2 plus ions, which form insoluble calcium carbonate, which can be removed through filter systems. Because hypochlorides oxidize organic material, they are used in liquid household bleach and as disinfectants. 
about reactivity, about reactivity of halogens toward other halogens. For example, uh, we can prepare by these reactions interhalogen. Binar compound, binar compound of two different halogen atoms of general formula X, X, N. Uh, they are both, uh, both elements, they are halogens. Are called interhalogen compounds where N equal 1, 3, 5 or 7. The, the um, covalent compounds Interhalogen compounds are more reactive than halogens because the bond X and X is a more polar bond than X X bond. What is X X bond? Uh, when we have same halogens, but this is uh, same halogens. They are different halogens. All all uh, these uh, interhalogens compounds are di-magnetic. But their melting point is little higher than halogens. For example, this row of the compounds has a liner shape, liner structure, but this is a bent T shape, square pyramidal shape, and at last uh, this type, for example, I did fluorine 7, pentagonal pyramidal shape. About uh, each element, fluorine. Fluorine is a halogen with greatest abundance in the Earth's crust. It occurs widely in many minerals. Fluorine is the most strongly oxidizing uh, element, therefore it can't be obtained from it is compound by oxidation with another element. Fluorine is produced by electro Leasing, uh, electrolyzing uh, an uh, anhydrous molten mixture of potassium fluoride and hydrogen fluoride at about 75 degrees with a carbon anode. Most of the fluorine uh, produced by industry is used to make the volatile solid uranium fluorine 6 used for uh, processing nuclear fuel. The next uh, biggest, uh, biggest user uh, of the fluorine is the production of sulfur fluorine 6 for the electrical equipment. It has an oxidation number of minus 1 in all it is compounds. Because sulfur fluorine 6 we can name as sulfur 6 fluoride. Fluorine is less soluble than other Halides. But about the chlorine, chlorine is more soluble in water than fluorine. As a result, even though uh, there is more fluorine present in the Earth's crust, the oceans are salty with chlorides rather than fluorides. Chlorine is one of the most heavily manufactured chemicals. It is obtained from electrolysis of molten rock salt or brine. Chlorine will directly react with nearly all the elements except for uh, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen and the noble gases. It is a strong oxidizing agent. But where we can use, how we can use uh, chlorine? In a number of industrial processes, including the manufacture of plastics, solvents and pesticides. It is also used uh, as bleach in the paper and textile industries and as a disinfectant in water treatment plants. In addition, chlorine is used to produce bromine. Bromine is a reddish uh, brown fuming liquid at room temperature. It is the only known metal that is a liquid at normal room conditions. Bromine on the skin causes painful burns that heal very slowly. It is an element to be, uh, related, uh, to be treated uh, with the extreme respect 
in the lab. Elemental bromine is made by oxidation involved of electrons from bromide ions in marine. Where we can use uh, about the application of bromine, bromine is used widely in synthetic organic chemistry because uh, of the ease at which it can be added to and removed from organic chemicals. Organic bromides are incorporated into textiles as fire retardants and are used as pesticides. In organic bromides, bromides particularly sulfur bromide, are used in photographic emulsions. About iodine. Uh, when iodine uh, dissolves in organic uh, solvents, it produces solutions having a variety of colors. Iodine is an essential trace element for living systems. Deficiency in uh, humans leads to a swelling of the thyroid gland in the neck. Iodides are added to table salt yet they sold to prevent this deficiency. About the astatine, we told that astatine, uh, this is metalloid. Astatine could be described as the most rare element on Earth. All isotopes are radioactive, even its name is Greek for unstable. It occurs naturally as one of the atoms produced when the uranium isotope uh, undergoes radioactive decay. However, astatine doesn't stay around long. Most of its identified isotopes have half lives uh, of less than one minute. In the mass uh, spectrometer, astatine behaves much like uh, the other halogens especially iodine. There is uh, evidence of compounds formed by it is uh, combining with other halogens such as astat iodide, astat bromide and astat chloride. About the halogen uh, compounds, uh, silver halides, uh, silver halide, uh, silver uh, chloride, silver bromide. These are used in photography paper. They are reduced by little and X-ray radiation to leave a silver photographic image. Hydrogen halides, hydrogen chloride, hydrogen fluoride. Uh, when this uh, dissolves in water, they make acid and will turn universal indicator red. Uh, dear my students, uh, I hope that uh, you will take uh, neat information uh, for you and I wish the best uh, you during this uh, time. I wish you uh, strong health and uh, at la in last uh, thanks for your attention. Uh, I hope uh, I will meet you soon. Okay, ciao. Until uh, next time.